Hey everybody, welcome back to Bookish Days. I'm Bridger Sunday, and I'm here just to do a really quick video because it is thunderstorming outside, so this needs to be kind of fast, but this week's topic is book banning and book burning and our feelings on the subjects. Now, as for book banning, I have kind of, like, mixed feelings about it. Like, I feel like it's okay if a parent says, you know, hey, I don't want you to read Harry Potter because I'm just not comfortable with that or whatever if they tell their child that. I feel like that's okay. I just don't like it whenever one person or two people or an entire group of people decides that the whole entire world can't read it. Like, that's whenever I get kind of agitated and I think, you know, you are in the wrong. You just need to step back. So, as for book banning, I just feel like if you're telling that to your own child, it's okay. But if you're telling the entire world they can't read it, then no. And as for book burning, it's just really stupid. And there needs to be no reason for it. Because whenever you go to Barnes & Noble and you buy up all of their Twilight or Harry Potter copies whatsoever that they have... You go and buy them all, and then you go and burn every single one of them. You just spent money that went to the publisher and the author to print more books like that and for the author to write more books like that. So, really, you're kind of just helping the cause. It's just really kind of stupid to see someone burn books because, like RJ said this week, if you don't like a book, don't read it. If you don't like a certain movie, don't watch it. Like, you're not being forced to. I don't know, just book banning and book burning. It's just really stupid. Okay, so I'm really sorry that was a really quick video, but those are my feelings on the subjects. It's just kind of unnecessary for all of those, but I will see you next week with our next topic, and happy reading.